So Lutherans recognize two sacraments, the sacraments of baptism and Holy Communion. Now, other traditions recognize uh, other sacraments as well, like confirmation, uh, marriage, ordination, last rites, but Lutherans only recognize two. Uh, we practice those rites, and we think of them as, as sacramental, outward and visible signs of an inward and spiritual grace, uh, using one definition, but not sacraments. So for Lutherans, uh, we define sacraments in a particular way, of course. Uh, sacraments are something that Jesus did and commanded us to do, and then take an earthly element and combine it with the Word of God. So in baptism, Jesus was baptized in the Jordan River by John, and he commanded his disciples to go and baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. For the Last Supper, he had, um, he had his Last Supper with his disciples, which was the first communion, and then he said, do this in remembrance of me, he commanded them to do it. So Jesus did it and commands us to do it. And what we understand what happens in these sacraments is that we take this earthly element, water, bread, wine, or juice, and they are combined with the promises of God. So it's water and the word, or bread and wine and the word, and these are combined together to create the sacrament in this moment where we encounter God, God's presence, God's love, grace, and forgiveness, and healing in these moments. So these are um, these kind of physical moments where we can feel that water, we can taste that bread and that wine or juice, and know that God is truly present here. And the way we understand the way the communion works, um, which is a little different from other traditions, we talk about the real presence. So that we say God is truly present here at the table. God's word is in, with, and under, Martin Luther said, um, the communion table. And so we say God is truly present in this meal, in this rite, in this sacrament, truly present with us and for us together.